Luxury dark. Or luxury pranks. Same shit. <clears throat> Honestly, tell you the truth. Um, you know, he says that he does, um, he puts stuff on Luxury Dark because it's too scary for his regular channel. Okay, whatever. I, um, a couple of days ago, I did a video on, um, I am J Station because I watched one of his, I honestly tell you, if I saw clips of his other videos and I just couldn't sit through it because he is annoying as shit. And so I figured I was like, you know what, let's do, let's do a, let me, let me do my take on, um, Luxury Dark. By the way, in case you can't tell, those videos are fake. Both of them are fucking fake. Now, Luxury Dark always claims that, um, JayStation copies his videos. To be honest, I don't keep track like that, so I don't know who's lying, who's telling the truth. So I'm not going to sit there and really kind of like, like, oh, well, they're kind I don't, I don't fucking know. I will sit there and say that Luxury Dark is more entertaining than J Station for the simple fact that, well, J Station comes across as fucking annoying and super fucking retarded. And I don't mean like, you know, I, I, fuck it. No, um, unfiltered. Um, no, he just comes across as really fucking annoying. Him and his fucking dingbat fucking girlfriend just comes across as the most annoying fucking people on the planet. Now, with that being said, you know, Luxury Dark, it just... You know, you watch these videos for the fucking super absurdity, but it's super weird. Just the most out there fucking concepts. You know, I think the last one that I watched was, um, him going to some woman's house, some girl's house, because her dog was acting strange and they wanted to find out why, so they set up cameras. I'm like, this just, here's the thing. All those videos, whenever he's trying to help someone, he always starts off going down to that person's house with little to no fucking furniture, because that's just fucking obvious that it's just fake. I mean, not to say you gotta, like, ball out or anything like that, but, you know, there's no personal pictures, no photos or anything like that. It just, it comes across as, well, fake. And then, whatever the case is, they're always like, we'll go upstairs to your room, we'll set up cameras, and we'll, we'll see what's going on. I'm like, none of this makes any sense. Well, I try to go to the cops and they won't believe me. You try to go to the cops and they won't believe you. Sometimes they actually have footage of their own. And they'll be like, oh, well, here's my footage. I'm like, well, why don't you just take it to the cops? Why are you taking it to them for? What are they going to do? What are they going to do that the cops won't do? So, you know, right off the back, those videos are just... They're stupid. Here's the thing. Their videos are stupid, but they're entertaining. Um... You know, Chester always acts like, you know, they both, they both do the whole, I'm super acting and shit, but he has, it just comes across as super fake. Even when they used to do the, um, you know, the, the creep catcher kind of videos, you know, those videos just came across as ridiculously fake also. And I don't just mean like, I mean the people that he would sit there and try to catch. Now here's the thing, a lot of times he would blur out their faces to make you think that the video is real. In reality, the video is not fucking real. Not to sit there and say that most people don't talk like that, but majority of people will not just be that straightforward to be like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care if she's 14, so what? So what? Why does that bother? Why, why does that matter? <clears throat> I remember one guy in one of the videos came by and he wanted to drink some milk. And he's just literally sitting up there drinking milk, just, just guzzling it down. And the guy takes off his shoes, and the girl's like, your feet stink. I mean, just, just, I mean, she didn't say it like that, but, like, it was obvious that his feet just reeked. And she was supposed to pretend that she was, like, an underage girl. And, you know, these videos, you know, again, it's like, who comes over somebody's house 
with like and takes off their shoes or the other video it was another video when it was a couple there's another creep catching video where it was a couple and um you know the guy and the girl came over and I think yeah they blurred out their faces or whatever but you know the older woman was something like oh go on take off your clothes and he's fine he's just he'll just sit there and watch the guy was acting so fucking bizarre he was grunting he was just like mm, mm, uh, mm. and I'm just like all right see this is just I mean it was entertaining but it was over the top fucking stupid like no one acts like that unless you are on medication and you didn't take your medication that day you're fucking schizophrenic or something no one acts like that so those videos definitely comes across as fucking cheesy and super fake but they're just entertaining J Station comes out with these videos and they just are so fucking dumb and retarded that you're I, I just I don't and then I, I, you know, I regret that in my last video, you know, I had some people that came on my page and I was like, you know, saying that I was stupid and I was annoying and you're fucking stupid. Granted, the person I was sitting there saying it couldn't spell worth a damn. And granted, I can't spell sometimes either, but I mean, bro, you got spell check. Like, th there was no reason when you look at some of the shit that they wrote, I'm just like, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason why you can't sit there and spell annoying. There, there, there really is no fucking reason. Unless you just started typing something and you just, you were drunk or whatever. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, granted, you know, Luxury Dark is, is fake and it's cheesy and you know, their plots are just way fucking out there. They're just really fucking entertaining. Um, I can't sit through. I mean, I'll, I'll sit through and watch a video of, um, J Station. Just to honestly make a video about it because he, man, he, um, he, he, he gives me a lot to talk about. I, <laughs> I give him that much. He gives me a lot to talk about. I mean, his videos just just bad and I mean like asylum film level kind of bad almost worse I feel like he can direct a fucking film with the asylum company and by the way asylum is a group that makes mockbusters so like you have transformers you have transmorphers and um I can't really name well, they did a lot of the Sharknado movies, so... If you're watching those... They're, they're one of those movies that's like, they're so bad that they're good. Um, or a movie like, um... I don't think they directed it, but like... The Incredible Hulk, as opposed to uh, The Incredible Bulk. Yeah, that's an actual fucking thing. Um, but yeah, that's the type of level that J-Station gives in his videos and he has so many followers and so many views and I'm just like I I don't understand how and why I don't get it um I don't get it and you know granted here's the thing my intentions was not to really come out so much and like rag on him but you just can't fucking help but when you watch his videos you watch his latest videos, they are so over the top stupid. And I mean like, you have to be either high or drunk to actually enjoy his videos. I, I just, I, I don't understand how anyone can sit there and watch those shit sober. I get that his, his, um, his videos may be meant for a certain age demographic. So maybe that's it. But I would like to sit there and think that even they have better standards than watching I Bought a Psycho Off the Dark Web. I, I don't know. Hurts my head just thinking about it. And I don't mean to hurt it. You know, 
it boggles my fucking head just thinking about it. yes it boggles my fucking head just thinking about the retarded shit that I see on that jackass's videos but um yeah so yeah luxury dark is is better um it is better it's still cheesy as fuck but it's they're not annoying I think that's my that's my the big difference is that they're not annoying they don't come across in the videos like screaming in the beginning you know I, I can that shit was just really difficult to sit there and listen to because his yelling started before the video before they even met the psycho that was dropped off at their door because you know when you buy stuff off the dark web as far as psychopaths they drop them off at your front door I just but yeah he starts yelling and screaming and that shit is just annoying and the way he talks is annoying the fact that he doesn't use curse words is annoying um and it's not so much the fact that he doesn't use curse words he substitutes them for other words and they just like if you're not gonna curse just don't say the substitute of that you know if I'm not if I'm gonna sit there if I don't want to sit there and say damn I'm not gonna say darn if I if I can't sit there and say fuck I'm not gonna say freak I just it sounds fucking retarded it really does it sounds like you're not old enough to curse um and given by his persona and everything like that he really comes across as somebody that's in 10th grade yeah he comes across as somebody who's in 10th grade so I'm surprised I'm not surprised when he tries to curse but he doesn't curse and he says like darn and freak I'm like yep okay that seems about right that seems about your fucking speed buddy anyway sorry for the darkness but I don't know it gets dark a lot early and I forgot that my room is a lot darker and whatever alright